coverage continues this afternoon with Dr. Parth and Andy. Dr. Nandy, good afternoon. Dr. Allen, how are you doing? I'm good, doctor. Thank you. So, Doc, first off, some parents are eager to get their teen vaccinated. However, others do have concerns, specifically long-term effects. What should parents be concerned about and what should they know? And I'm a dad. So as a parent, you know, we, we want to keep our kids safe. So I get it. So I can understand why some parents may be hesitant about getting their kids vaccinated for COVID-19. After all, it's the vaccine's new to this age group. And so how do we know if it doesn't cause uh, some long-term effects? That's what some of my uh, colleagues and patients have asked me. Well, I'll be honest, we're not 100% certain that there'll be zero long-term effects. Having said that, though, we have plenty of past experience with many other vaccines, Alan. And what's, here's what science tells us, right? The facts tell us that adverse events almost always appear in the first six weeks after being immunized. So it's highly unlikely that long-term effects will develop years later. You know, Dr. Nanny, we've reported on blood clots in the past. Do parents need to be concerned about potential blood clots or even other side effects? Super important question, Alan. So blood clots are not, I repeat, not associated with the Pfizer vaccine. Remember, it's only associated with the jo Johnson & Johnson vaccine here in the U.S. And that's because technologies are different with these vaccines. As for side effects, same as what we've seen for adults, right? Sore arm, all of us who've had it, had most of us have had sore arms, fatigue, muscle aches, and possible fever. But parents, please don't avoid the vaccine just because your kids may not feel that great for you know a day, maybe two. Now, there are other couple of things I'd like to ask parents to really pay attention to. First of all, if you're one of those parents who feels like, listen, my kid doesn't need to get vaccinated because they're at low risk, I want you to know that kids are not 100% immune. There are thousands of children that have been hospitalized, hundreds who have died. The other thing is that we all know, right? We all know kids can spread spread the virus. So getting them vaccinated not only helps protect your child, it helps protect the, all the community around them, especially older adults like grandparents. And lastly, I think it's a good idea to hear what your young teen or child has to uh, say about getting vaccinated. If they're like my kids, man, they have an opinion, right? And they're likely in favor of getting vaccinated. Why? Because they want to hang out with their kids, lead a normal life like the rest of us. And remember, the more kids that are vaccinated, the closer we're getting to that herd immunity. The less spread we have, the more life becomes normal and the return to normalcy. So I think that this vaccine has been vetted. Alan, I think it's safe and I'd, I'm confident to give it to my kids and I feel you should be as well. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing we're all looking forward to get back to some type of normalcy. As always, Doc, thanks for the information. And it's great to see you. My pleasure. Thank you. And folks, if you do have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.